Hello and welcome to the CPA News Desk. I'm Paula Massman, CPA's Media Director. It finally happened. President Donald Trump signed January 23rd, 2017, an executive order that officially pulls the U.S. out of the Trans-Pacific Partnership negotiation. This is huge news. CPA and other organizations have been fighting against the Trans-Pacific Partnership for years on end. So what happens next? America needs trade, but what do future trade agreements look like? CPA has an alternative. CPA and other organizations have drafted a document listing 13 principles that should be included in any 21st century trade agreement. Over 150 organizations and companies have already signed on. Let's take a look. Number one, balanced trade. Trade agreements must contribute to a national goal of achieving a manageable balanced trade over time. Number two, National Trade, Economic, and Security Strategy. Trade agreements must strive to optimize value-added supply-sustained growth. The trade agreements must also ensure national security by recapturing production necessary to rebuild America's defense industrial base chains within the U.S. Number three, reciprocity. Trade agreements must ensure that foreign country policies and practices, as well as their tariff and non-tariff barriers, provide fully reciprocal access for U.S. goods and services. Number four, state-owned commercial enterprises. Trade agreements must encourage the transformation of state-owned and state-controlled commercial enterprises to private sector enterprises. Number five, currency. Trade agreements must classify prolonged currency undervaluation as per se violation of the agreement without the need to show injury or intent. Number six, rules of origin. Trade agreements must include rules of origin to maximize benefits for US based supply chains and minimize the free ridership by third parties. Number seven, enforcement. Trade agreements must provide effective and timely enforcement mechanisms, including provisional remedies. Number eight, border adjustable taxes. Trade agreements must neutralize the subsidy and tariff impact of the border adjustment of foreign consumption taxes. Number nine, perishable and cyclical products. Trade agreements must include special safeguard mechanisms to address import surges in perishable and seasonal agriculture product markets, including livestock markets. Number 10, food and product safety and quality. Trade agreements must ensure import compliance with existing U.S. food and product safety and quality standards and must not inhibit changes to or improvements in U.S. standards. Number 11, domestic procurement. Trade agreements must preserve the ability of federal, state, and local governments to favor domestic producers in government or government-funded procurement. Number 12, temporary versus permanent trade agreements. Trade agreements must be subject to renegotiation and renewal. Renewal must not occur if the balance of benefits cannot be restored. And lastly, number 13, labor. Trade agreements must include enforceable labor provisions to ensure that lax labor standards and enforcement by contracting countries do not result in hidden subsidies to the detriment of U.S.-based workers and producers. For more information on the 21st century trade agreement principles, log on to our website, www.prosperousamerica.org.